All right, so this is a special edition here on Samiflex TV. Obviously, cooling off in London, somewhere around the London Bridge. And you know, that is our usual base. This is our home base studio. And I welcome you to what I call the quick news, where I will be giving you some tips happening in our showbiz industry. Now, one thing is certain, anytime I am outside of Ghana, so many things happened and I would always would want to have uh, my fair share on it and that is what we are about to do my name is sammy flex and um, you are here with me on the quick news my producers are not here with me richie flex and <laughs> and uh, digital rasta but they will be working on this material so that you get quality so that you get all the positive information out of this now first let's start with um information we are gathering that finally fella mcafee and um, medical they are about getting married congratulations yeah, yeah, nah, day. we are all happy that finally it is about happening for them but then there are some one or two advices we would want to put through for them knowing very well that they are celebrities and that some people have uh, succeeded in that kind of marriage others have also failed woefully it is our wish it is our prayer that they also succeed so first this is how i'll put it um, social media is now going to be part of your problems as a matter of fact first you guys were just dating it was not any um, serious um, relationship but that's the, it wasn't marriage marriage is obviously all the time different from dating and marriage is always different from courting as well now that you guys are married I just want to advise that will there be a little bit of a reduction in your social media activities especially some things you guys would do privately i know you guys are all in the um, media space as in you guys are all celebrities as uh, fella mccaffrey an actress and now an entrepreneur as well as a medical also a musician you guys use the space in fact, social media is one area you also operate from where you sell some of your products, where you talk about some of your activities, where you sell some of your events and all that. But then at this stage, can you guys really know what is private and what is for the public? That is my first advice to you. It is time for you guys to differentiate that this is private and this is public. Because if you are not able to do that and you put every detail from your bed, from your um, boxer shorts, from maybe some private, private things about you in the public space, you are going to be monitored closely. Uh, remember that it's not everyone who likes you. It is not everyone who would want your progress or it is not everyone who would want you guys your growth. The more you put out all details out for them to know, oh, today fella McAfee slept in an orange or pink um, nighty. A medical also woke up in a white boxer short and blah, 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 blah. Um, I, I don't want to say spiritually. I, it, it's still physically, but then so many things are likely to come out of some of these things. So it is my wish, it is my hope that at this stage, now that you guys are couples, you know how to differentiate between your private life on social media as well as your public life on social media. That is point one. Now point two will be about friends. When you guys were dating, I know you had so many friends, people who were coming in and going out of your houses every time, any time, and in fact, sometimes even at all hours, some people would just come to your rooms, come to your houses to do stuff with you. Now, it should be reduced as well. I'm not saying sack your friends. I'm not saying let them go away from you people. They are still going to be around, but then what you guys should know is that it is not going to be like usual. It is not going to be like it used to be. This time around, there should be some one or two um, limitations on how they come to your house, what they do, 
and what they come to do there as well because if it is going to be open like it used to be before then it means you guys are not going to have any private life and very soon there will be some complaints here and there either wife will be complaining or husband will be complaining or maybe it will even prevent you guys from doing some things that will lead to your growth and again let's move on to the third point now that you guys are into serious marriage the third point i would want to talk about is your business mm -hmm. i know um fella McAfee has been contributing to uh, medicals business one way or the other even if not financially sometimes on the stage we see them together performing uh, it is a, it's, it is another kind of contribution in case you don't know uh, what she does on the stage with you is also another kind of contribution now at this stage this is what i also want to say i want to say that this is the time for you guys to introduce people who are going to man the business in a more business way and not in a friendship way because so many demands will be coming through uh, very soon all things being equal by maybe by the will of god there will be children there will be here and there you guys would have to take care of all these things if there is no one to take care of the business um, in a more official way and it is it is still going to be about friends 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 very soon you are likely to face someone or two and if you are not able to handle them well it ends up destroying or bringing someone or two confusion in your marriage now marriage is a very complicated um relationship it is very complicated when you guys were dating um it, you were going to have a different feel now that you guys are officially married it is never going to be the same it is never going to be the same and again you guys are not in competition with anybody I remember someone saying, ah, is it because uh, Sister Debbie was just out in the media space talking about medical and uh, Fela McAfee, are they getting married just to uh, spite her or something? No, I want to say it is not like that. I want to believe you are not doing this to spite anybody. I, I want to believe that you've tried, you've tested yourselves and you know each other and you are so sure that something would work. And that is what we are all waiting for because you guys are not doing this to spite anybody or to make anybody feel bad or to make anybody feel good and you are doing it for yourself I pray that you always don't look at what others will say you always don't look at what others will do because this is the time so many temptations would even be coming around here and there people will be saying this something that you guys have done maybe in the past someone is likely to even bring it forth at this stage but then if only you guys know what you want if only you guys know what you are looking for trust me you can overcome you can overcome it so easily you don't have to listen to all these people at all times because what someone will say might not be the reality what someone will say might not be the real case sometimes it is just to um, grow some seed of um, confusion between you guys and I believe with the years that you've lived together um, with the years that you've you guys you've tried yourself you know the weak the weakness and again know the strength of each and any one of you it is my prayer that it works it and it will surely work and again learn from someone or two someone or two people who have tried this and they have succeeded at it you guys can also take a cue from them I know a channel Kwame can be a critical example in Ghana maybe you at your stone and the rest of the guys whose names are not coming to mind at the moment there are so many people you guys can always go to them for advice uh, you should know that it is not all the time that some of your issues your core issues your private issues you should be sharing it with your friends uh, some friends will come around but they might not wish you guys well some friends will come around but they might not want the growth of your marriage so it is time for you guys to pay attention to the little little details when you were not paying attention to previously i know those times you guys were wild and free doing everything you want to do some things you do publicly and all of that this time around there should be limitations yes i don't know how you guys are also going to handle media uh media media invasion into your marriage but then 
I trust medical. He does not even do more interviews like that. Same way, Fela McAfee does not do more interviews like that. So with the media, I know you guys will be able to handle them. Despite the fact that sometimes where you've not even invited them, they will be coming to say this and that. I know you guys will still be in a position to handle them. So we wish you well. It is our prayer that all things you guys desire will come to pass. And it is also our prayer that you'll be able to stand the test of time and uh, go ahead to even do exploit. You'll be able to motivate others who are also in other uh, maybe celebrity relationship to get to the top. And um, yes, I am not in Ghana to be part of this, but I know so many media people are following. They'll all be there to support you guys to achieve. So congratulations once again, Fela McAfee and Medical. I'm always proud of Medical. He has has been my boy since I don't regret ever uh, playing his song first on radio. Uh, you guys are always making me proud. Congrats and I wish you well. My name is Sammy Flex. This has been the quick news all the way from London on Sammy Flex TV. Subscribe because I'll be talking about more. I'll be doing more commentaries on some issues happening. Let's do this some other time. We out of here. <laughs>